Yo, what's up guys, Complies here. Remember that if you guys are new here and this video helps you, remember to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And for those of you who are already subscribed, what's up, how's it going? Right there is reason number one to subscribe, as I will be giving all my subscribers an extra greeting in every single video. But on a serious note, I really wanna say thank you to you guys who have been supporting me recently. As of recording this video right now, we're only 80 watch hours away from the required amount to be able to apply for the YouTube Partner Program. Now that's a huge accomplishment in the short amount of time. I think it's only been about four or five months since I've been taking youtube seriously so on a very serious note to everyone who's been here and been supporting me recently thank you guys so much now you know in every single video i have to plug my social medias so please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also be sure to check out and follow my twitter which is the best way to stay in contact with me since i'm always on it don't forget to follow my instagram where i'm gonna start uploading clips again i've been lacking a little bit but i promise you the content is coming back soon also be sure to check out my discord we have a really nice growing community of people in there and if you have any questions in there feel free to drop them and either me or anyone Anyone else in there will get back to you or if you just need some people to play with or talk to that's your spot that you want to be so a link to that will be in the description as well and most importantly guys be sure to follow my twitch channel as well we've been streaming a lot of apex season 7 been popping off recently getting a lot of frags a lot of pretty high kill games a lot of wins and the rank grind will begin soon as well so like everything else the link to that will be in the description below please don't forget to follow that now that that's out of the way let's get right into the video so today's video i'm going to be going through each individual setting in the menu and showing you guys which is the optimal settings now a lot of people might already have these settings but i know a lot of people don't and i'm gonna be going through a bunch of different things so even if you have your settings down i'd recommend watching this out to the end this is more likely aimed at newer players who are new to apex and haven't really got the feel for the game and which settings are best and optimal so without further ado let's get right into it so obviously first off we're going to go into our settings menu and first we're going to be going through the regular gameplay settings now for interact prompt style if you're still new or learning the game i'd probably recommend leaving this at default personally i have it on compact because that's less visual clutter on the screen less stuff i need to look at next for button hints same thing up there as well if you're new to the game maybe leave them on for a little bit but i would definitely recommend turning them off once you get a feel for it next up crosshair damage feedback definitely x shield with icon that's personally what i use because i feel like it gives you a good amount of information so you know when you're hitting your opponent when you're breaking their shield so yeah definitely leave this on x with shield icon now let's move on to damage numbers you want to put this to stacking this gives you a good indication of how much total damage you're doing without leaving too much clutter on the screen like the other settings do so yeah let's put that to stacking and leave that as for all of these ping opacity faded obituaries on you're going to want to see the kill feed for sure mini map rotation on because that's just less that your eyes have to do the map rotates for you instead of you having to figure out the map rotation by yourself now weapon auto cycle on empty you definitely want to have this on because when you're in the middle of a fight and there's a lot of stuff going on you empty a clip into someone sometimes you're not going to know that you empty that whole clip so this setting will automatically switch your weapons for you and it can be a big help sometimes now this is one that i would definitely recommend most people try out is auto sprint on now i run this because because that's just one less input that I have to worry about. Plus I know that I'm always gonna be moving at maximum speed, which helps a lot in getting your movement down and getting across the map as fast as possible. Double tap sprint, turn that off. No one uses that. Incoming damage feedback, definitely 2D, 3D both, just because it gives you good information on where you're getting hit from while not being too visually cluttering on the screen. Taking damage, closes death box menu. Definitely turn this off. I'm so glad they implemented this back in season three as this used to be a pain in the ass. Pop up, pop up, that was weird to say, but yeah, you wanna have this off unless you're new and like the other ones above you need to learn the game a little bit more have this on for a little bit but eventually yeah turn this off now streamer mode this is a personal preference sometimes i turn it on sometimes i turn it off now a good reason to turn this on especially when you're playing ranked and high level lobbies is so that you don't get fear when you run into good players they all just look like simple names it'll only display the legend name so that you don't know if you're going against energy tsm complexity that's not in your head so that's one less thing you have to worry about but yeah like i said this one is personal preference but if you are playing ranked and high level lobbies i would recommend maybe turning that on seeing if that helps your mental now anonymous mode i just leave this disabled but like i said at the setting before if you don't want to focus on who's in game and who you're going to fight turn that on usage sharing is disabled because i don't want ea to use my information i know it's pretty self-explanatory but if you think that you could help them out in some ways go ahead and turn that on i just leave it off though performance display you definitely want to leave this on it was bugged for a while when they first put it in but it's fixed now so i would leave this on and i would turn off any other fps counters whether you're using them in the nvidia control panel through steam through origin turn those off because those will cause some sort of input delay while 
it's minuscule, it will be there. So definitely you always want to use the one in game. Now club invites, it's personal preference. Disabled will just be less invites that you're getting. Enabled, you want to see people inviting you, go ahead and turn that on. Now to the accessibility panel for colorblind. And now for colorblind mode, I would either recommend off or tritinopia. I wouldn't recommend the other two modes just because I feel like it kind of doles out the colors and they get very washed out. But with tritinopia, it does kind of brighten everything, give it a little bit more vibrance. So that's a good one too, if you want to run it. I think that's what EU Lyric uses. So yeah, personal preference, it's kind of whatever you want, either tritinopia or off. As far as subtitles and all these other settings go, off, normal, off, off, off. Now the reason I turn these off is because that's just one extra thing on the screen that you need to read. So it just frees up some of that visual clutter and gives you more focus on the game. But now let's get right into the mouse and keyboard section. Now a lot of these settings are going to be personal preference, but I'm going to run you through what I believe to be somewhat optimal settings. As far as mouse sense goes, I use 800 DPI, 1.5 cents which is just over 34 centimeters per 360. Now for sense, I'd recommend anything from one to two if we're talking about 800 DPI, just because I feel like if you go any lower than that, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of the key wrist movements and micro adjustment ability. And if you go higher than that, it's gonna be pretty damn hard to control. Now, obviously it is personal preference. I've said this in another video. So if you do run one of those sensitivities that are lower, higher than the threshold that I recommended, then go ahead, stick with it. That's just personally what I recommend. Now for ADS mouse sense, these are on my settings. I like to turn per optic ADS sensitivity on because I feel like if you have it set to off and you have one sense for all your scopes, it's either going to be too fast or too slow on some of them. So these are what I recommend for iron sights 1.1 for the 2x optic is 1.3 and then I just increase in increments of 0.1 each time it goes up in a scope. Even then it does still feel kind of slow, but I hardly ever use these scopes anyways. And I'd recommend you guys maybe break away from them too, unless you're using the two or three X on a R301 or a flatline or something like that. But yeah, anyways, these are my settings. If you want to copy them, go ahead and then we'll go back. Mouse acceleration, definitely turn that off. Mouse invert off, lighting effects off. Now, if you do like RGB and you have a fully decked out RGB setup, by all means, go ahead and turn this on. I just leave them off just in case I was to have something that was Apex integrated into the RGB software. That would just be very distracting to me. I don't want my keyboard lighting up a bunch of different colors when I shoot or take damage. It could be more immersive, I guess, but for me, it would just be distracting. So for now, let's move into the keybinds. Now, real quick, I'm just gonna be scrolling through and showing you all my keybinds, and I'll just be talking about just a couple of them. As I feel, these are mostly personal preference, but I will go over a few that I think you guys should probably try out too and incorporate into your game. So yeah, real quick, let's just scroll through all of them. Now I'm going to be talking about the two that I think you guys should do too. First one is going to be scroll wheel jump. All we're going to want to do here is click key to scroll our wheel down, and then we will not have scroll wheel jump enabled on our scroll wheel down line. The second one that I want to show you guys is scroll wheel interact slash pickup. So all we do, come over here to key to and in your interact slash pickup, click it, scroll your wheel up once, and now that's bound. Now scroll wheel jump will allow you to be hop heal, b hop, which both can be used in fights to be a harder target to hit, and also to get a heal off in quick situations where you need to keep moving. And scroll wheel interact, it'll allow you to pick up multiple items instantly no delay you don't have to click on every single one it can pick up multiple things at once which is very good off drop when you're trying to get a gun from somebody first and ammo and all that stuff so yeah those two are definitely big key binds that you guys need to start using controller settings very relevant as we don't like controller players here okay no really just kidding i don't know much about controller but these are the settings that i run run five look sensitivity five ads response curve linear look dead zone small movement dead zone small and better look off vibration off and keep in mind i'm not a controller player these are just some settings that i've used a little bit when i plugged it in and messed around on the sticks so i'm probably not the best person to watch for this video i'd probably go watch another controller player yeah, these are the settings that i've used a few times so now let's go over to our video tab now for display mode you definitely want to leave this at full screen because windowed or borderless window will give you some sort of input lag and lower your fps aspect ratio i recommend 16 by 9 native that's what i play personally but 16 by 10 is becoming very popular so that is also very good as well as far as resolution goes for 16 by 10, I'd recommend either 1680 by 1050 or 1728 by 1080. I will leave the link to this video in the top right hand corner on how I show you to enable stretch resolution. So yeah, either 1680 by 1050, 1728 by 1080 if you're doing 16 by 10. But if you're doing 16 by 9, I'd recommend 1920 by 1080. Or if you want, you could drop it down to 1600 by 900. As far as brightness goes, I play on 60. I just feel like that gives you sort of a good amount of light without washing stuff out too much. You can still see in dark corners, but the game doesn't look like it's lacking contrast 
contrast and it's not very washed out. So that's what I run. Now for field of view, I play on 110. However, I play in a different 110 that the game specifies. Now, if you use my auto exec in my video config file, you will get the 110 that I play on because I will leave a link to the Reddit post in the description below or in the top right hand corner if it'll let me. But the way that Apex calculates FOV in game is not perfectly correct because it's a slider. You can't change it in small increments. So check that Reddit post down below and it'll explain that for you pretty well. As far as FOV goes that I would recommend playing on, anything 100 and above. I think the two best ones are 110 and 104. If you want your game to be kind of slower, you see enemies a little bit better, I'd probably play 104. However, if you want the maximum amount of visuals that you can get and the most amount of information on your screen, definitely play 110. That's what most pros play. Now for sprint view shake, definitely turn that to minimal. You don't want your character to be shaking all over the place when you're trying to aim at someone or move. V-Sync, definitely disable this as turning any sort of V-Sync on will cause some sort of input delay. Now, as far as video settings go, I would personally recommend turning everything to the very, very lowest or off, as this will give you the best performance and visibility in game. However, there are just a couple of settings that you can leave on as I don't feel they impact your performance too much or they don't cause too much visual clutter or affect your visibility. And those two settings are anti-alias. If you want to have your edges smooth and you don't like the really jagged moving lines, turn TSAA on. I personally leave it off though because I feel like it gives me a sharper image and I can see a little bit more clear. But like I said, that's personal preference. Next, you can go to texture stream budget now for optimal gameplay leave this on the very lowest leave it to none but if you do want to see those really cool skins that you guys have in game which is what i leave it on paid money for these skins so you know i want to see them look good you could leave it on high i wouldn't go any higher than high because i feel like it's pretty much an imperceivable difference at that point so yeah high that's what i have mine on and everything else low low disabled 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 low turn everything else to the very lowest all right so now we're going to be going over to our audio tab master volume it's kind of personal preference whatever your ears can take i leave my windows volume pretty high so i leave my master volume at 40%. Now I know it sucks, but the audio in this game is really bad. So I would recommend kind of turning in that master volume up to the point where it's pretty loud in your ear, not to where it's ear piercing, but it might be a little bit uncomfortable at first, but it will help you hear those footsteps. As far as the voice chat goes, I just leave those at the default and turn on push to talk. Now sound effects volume, leave that at hundred percent. I've turned the dialogue volume down just a little bit just to get rid of that audio clutter. Music volume, I have that all the way off as that's just one less thing that I have to worry about. Lobby music volume, you could turn this on if you want to, but I think it's kind of annoying just for me personally so I have that off sound in the background whatever you want I leave it off because when I alt tab I don't really want to be hearing the game play incoming text chat is speech I leave this off because like I said if you can see it on the HUD you don't need to hear it unless you are somehow hearing impaired turn that on convert incoming voice chat to text chat for most people you're gonna want to go ahead and turn this off okay so that's it for those settings there now in the description below like I have in a couple other videos I will be leaving the links to my auto exec in the video config file below and also my command line arguments that I have installed now one thing that this will do is kind of lower the other graphic settings in game, the ones that you can't tweak from the main menu to give you what's mostly marginally better FPS. But still, I think that any difference helps. And one of the command line arguments will be enabling the NVIDIA reflex low latency. So you're gonna wanna paste that in your command lines. And I will be showing you how to do this at the end of the video. And another thing that it will be doing is capping your FPS at 140. Now I do this because I have a free sync monitor and it'll give me that nice crisp image without screen tearing, which I feel makes the game feel a whole lot smoother. However, if you guys aren't on 144 Hertz, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I would leave this command line out and I'll be showing you guys this at the end of the video when we paste it into our command lines. But however, if you are on a 144 Hertz monitor, I would definitely recommend doing this. It's going to make your game feel smooth. It's going to be less screen tearing. However, if you don't like it or you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I'll be showing you guys that right now. Okay, guys. So first off, we're going to go ahead and use the Steam client. So all we need to do is open up our Steam client and then we go to Apex Legends right here. You want to right click properties, set launch options. And these are my launch options right here. Now the one to enable in video reflex low latency is this one right here gfx use low latency one that's what enables it and this one right here is the fps cap now i have it set to 141 and apex is kind of weird what you set your fps to it will generally lower it to one below whatever you put in game so i set fps max 141 to cap it at 140 in game however if you guys don't want to do that or if you don't want any fps cap at all you hit fps max zero or if you want to cap it at whatever your monitor refresh rate is you go ahead and change that to 60 240 120 whatever you guys want to do however i like to leave mine at 141 and that's it for that and i'll be showing you how to do it in the origin client it's pretty much the same thing but just different ways to get there okay guys so now that we're in the origin client we're going to be going to my game library you want to right click on apex go to game properties advanced launch options this is what you use to enable nvidia reflex and this right here is our fps cap and the same thing before if you don't want to cap it at what i do cap it to whatever your monitor refresh rate or whatever you want to do go 60 120 240 whatever you guys want to do 
like I said, I leave mine at 141. Now all you want to do is hit save. Now we're going to go back in game real quick. I just want to say a few things to you guys real quick before I end the video. Okay, guys, so I hope this video helped you. I really feel like these are probably the best settings. And if you guys turn them on, it will help you get a little bit better. You will have a little bit more visual clarity without having too much clutter on the screen. So if you're playing competitively or you just want to get better at the game, definitely go ahead and throw those on. I appreciate you all so much. Hopefully by this time this video comes out or even the next video, we will have achieved YouTube partner status. I'll definitely let you know and keep you guys updated. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, please be sure to check out all my social medias in the description below. Go ahead and give those a follow and be sure to follow my Twitch where I stream Apex pretty much every other day. But also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It helps the channel a ton. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. I hope this video helped you. I hope you'll have a great rest of your day. Peace.